see that I'm wearing this blonde hair today. Um, this wig is actually from a company, and I've did this a company review before for this company. I was not sent this hair for a review. I bought the hair to color and customize for myself and for you guys. This is from Premier Lace Wigs, and this is the Sierra wig, and this is a long version of the Sierra wig. Um, I will link down below the exact link for this hair. Um, this is a lace front wig, and it's 22 inches, and um, it's a glueless cap. I did customize it and I only purchased, I do purchase the wigs from Premier Lace Wigs just because their blondes are easier for me to customize. I have not tried any other companies, but if you have any suggestions for any other companies that sell good ombre blonde hair, platinum blonde hair, leave those down below for me. So I customized this one just like the shorter blonde um, bob wig. Um, I'll leave the link down below for that video. Um, so basically this is what the hair looks like after I've customized it to the ash blonde tone. And this video will basically show you guys the steps that I did to actually get this ash color. And these steps that I use for this video are the exact same steps I use for the um, uh, Sierra Ombre um, Bob um, Platinum Bob that I did before. Sorry, I have like a hair mask. Okay, um, but yeah, so those are the um, exact steps that I use for this one. There's no method of me adding the color. I'm just putting the color on each bottle and then just saturating all together. I know you guys are questioning like how am I getting the color to blend this well. I just mix all the color together. It's it sounds hard. I don't I don't know how to make it sound easy for you guys to understand. I just mix all the color together and then I wait and then this is the color I get. Um it's a very nice ashy blonde color. It could goes for any type of skin colors, African American women, cocoa women like me, Hispanic, Caucasian, whatever it is. If you're looking for a really nice ash blonde tone kind of hair, um using very inexpensive box hair dye then keep watching this video make sure you leave all your questions and comments down below and also make sure you thumbs up this video for more videos and i will catch you guys later guys this is what the wig looked like when i first got the wig the wig was a hot ass mess it is too dark at the roots and the blonde is way 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 too light so i definitely had to customize this one i really like blondes uh, and i wanted to do something real cool the party space on this wig is actually pretty good guys so these are the box sets that I use. So I use two dark ash blonde boxes and I use one medium ash blonde. So you have one number 70 and two number 60s. You can get these at Walmart for $2.97 which is very very affordable. It does come with this hydrating conditioner inside of it so the hair doesn't dry out. But like I said guys, two 60s and 170, two dark ash blonde and one medium ash blonde. So now I'm basically just showing you guys the wig construction, cap construction. If you want to pick this wig up, you can pick it up. I'll leave the link down below. Um, the thing about this wig though, I did have to add some um, platinum blonde extensions from the beauty supply store to it because it wasn't thick enough to my liking, but to each his own. So in the next clip coming up, I'm basically going to show you guys of me mixing in the um, dyes. I individually mix each and every dye by, the, by itself. When I said in the beginning of the video that I am just mix all the colors together, you will see what I'm talking about in the next few clips. I legitimately just mix the colors together. There's no, I didn't separate the hair and dye this piece, this color, or that piece. No, I legitimately did this the easiest way possible and I achieved this look two times in a row. With this look and with the um, Von Bob Ombre one too. So just stay tuned and keep on watching. So basically in this clip, I'm just mixing all that hair dye in. Like I said, I'm going one by one. With each of the containers, I don't have a method to my madness. I'm just simply applying the colors, all three colors, to the blonde spot. Um, I know some people say that it's hard to do this. They don't know how I'm getting the color. Well, this is how I'm getting the color. I'm legitimately just putting the color everywhere. And I'm just saturating the hair with all three bottles of hair dye. And like I said before, that's two number 60s and one number 70. That's two dark ash blondes and one medium ash blonde. So continue to watch. So once all the color is basically applied, I'm basically just going to wrap the hair up and let it sit for about like 30 minutes. 
And after 30 minutes, the hair will look kind of seemingly dark. It almost looks kind of like a purple color because of the ash. And basically, at this point, I'm going to rinse it off, condition it, and let it air dry. And these are the ending results with the nice curled and styled. It doesn't get any better than this, guys. This is very simple. Leave all your questions and comments down below. And continue to watch my videos. And make sure you thumbs this one up.